Today friends, we will be going through the numerical aspect of chapter 2 that is irrigation and crop water requirement. So in the part 1 we have dealt with the, all the theoretical aspect of irrigation and crop water requirement. Now we will be going through the numerical portions of this chapter. Okay. So here we are presented a question is that after how many days will you supply the water to the soil for ensuring sufficient irrigation of the given crop if the data is that the field capacity of the soil is 28 percentage, the permanent wilting point is 13 percentage, the dry density of the soil is 1.3 gram per cubic centimeter, the effective depth of the root zone is 70 centimeter and the daily consumptive use of water for given crop is 12 mm. Likewise, assume the suitable data if necessary where we are given an assumption that the readily available moisture is 80 percentage of the available moisture. So friends, we need to solve this problem here. So friends, in the given question, we have given the, so we have been presented with the field capacity of 28 percentage and the permanent wilting point moisture content of 13 percentage. So we can easily find out the available moisture. So the available moisture can be find out by deducting field capacity with permanent wilting point. So you have field capacity of 28 percentage minus permanent wilting point of 13 percentage that equals to 15 percentage of available moisture as we are given in the question that the readily available moisture is 80 percentage of available moisture so we can also find out the readily available moisture as 12 percentage so in the given question we need to find the intensity of irrigation that is when after how many days you will supply the irrigating water to the crops. Okay, so we need to know the frequency of irrigation here. Now friends, if we know what the different moisture contains that, that can be applied here, then there will be very much easier for us to solve and visualize the problem. Here, the field here the graph between the moisture content and time is presented as shown in figure where the moisture content that is fill moisture content is given as 28 percentage and from this origin to the topmost line this is 28 percentage moisture content likewise below this we have optimum moisture content line OMC okay then below that we have P permanent wilting point line Okay, so here we have PWP as 13 percentage and the field capacity as 28 percentage. So if we subtract this field capacity and permanent wilting point, we can easily obtain available moisture present in this soil. Okay, likewise, the available, uh, the readily available moisture is given as 80 percentage of available moisture. Then we can easily obtain the value of readily available moisture as 80 percentage of the available moisture is the readily available moisture in this case and friend we need to know here optimum moisture from the base that is origin okay so we know that the field capacity is 28 percentage and if you subtract this readily available moisture from the field capacity then you can obtain the value of the optimum moisture in this case okay So friends, the optimum moisture is the fill capacity minus your readily available moisture that is 12 percentage. So 28 minus 12 equals to 16 percent is your, is your optimum moisture content. 
so friends the moisture will be filled by the irrigation between the moisture content of 16 and 28 percentage isn't it that is the the gap between the field capacity and optimum moisture content will be the effective root zone of the plant and this gap is important for us isn't it so the depth of root zone filled by irrigation between these two limit can be determined by this simple formula as depth of irrigating water sorry depth of root zone equals to the dry density of soil into depth of into the effective depth divided by your gamma w gamma w is the unit weight of the water isn't it so actually we have gamma as we have the density of the water as 1 gram per cc so density into gravity that gives us so density into g that gives us gamma okay so gamma uh, so gamma d is gamma dry density 1.3 into g likewise gamma w is the density of water one is 1 gram per cc multiplied with g so g and g is got here and we just have written only the numerical value that is 1.3 okay into 70 70 is your the effective 70 is your effective depth of the root zone that is given in the question so into the field capacity field capacity is 28 percentage so 0.28 minus the optimum moisture content is 16 percentage 0.16 so if we solve this we will obtain 10.92 centimeter as the depth okay of the root zone filled by the irrigation water so the total water available for evapotranspiration is 10.92 cm as we have obtained now here we are given the daily consumptive use of water as 12 mm that is in a day 1.2 cm of water is utilized by the plant okay so using the unitary method here 1.2 cm of water is used by plant in a day so 1 cm of water is utilized by plant in 1 by 1.2 days likewise the water available for evapotranspiration that is 10.92 cm of water is used by the plant in 1 by 1 by 1 by 2 into 10.92 days so this is the unitary method and solving this we will obtain 9.1 days so rounding off is equals to 9 days so we just have to deduct we have to deduct to the nearest value equals to 9 days so after the 9 days time interval we need to apply the irrigating water to the given crop in the field now the second problem of this part 2 is we need to determine the field capacity of the soil from the following sets of data and the data present is the depth of the root zone is given as 1.8 meters the existing moisture in the soil so the soil is certain moist moisten of so the existing moisture of the soil is 8 percent is likewise the dry density of the soil is given as 1450 kg per cubic meter likewise the quantity of water supplied to the soil the quantity of water supplied to the soil is 650 cubic meter the water lost equals to 10 percent is and the area to be irrigated is 1000 square meter so from the following sets of data we need to find the field capacity of the soil now friends we know that we know that the field capacity of the soil is given 
as the ratio of weight of water retained in the soil to the weight of same volume of dry soil. So here we need to find out the weight of water retained in the soil and what is the weight of same volume of dry soil. So first we need to assess the weight of dry soil. So weight can be given as weight W equals to gamma into volume. So since it is a dry soil, we have written the unit weight of soil gamma D into volume B. Here the gamma D can be written as rho into G. So gamma is always equals to the density of that dry soil into the acceleration due to gravity that is G into the volume of the soil, dry soil is given as area into depth. So area is 1000 square meter into the depth is 1.8 meter. So the weight of the dry soil can be obtained from here. Likewise, we need to determine the weight of water, water retained in the soil. So before assessing the weight of water retained in the soil, we need to know the volume of water retained by the soil. Here, as it is given in the question that 10% of water is lost. So the remaining water retained, that is the remaining water in the soil is 100 minus 10 percentage that is the remaining percentage of water into the water supplied in the field that is 650 cubic meter is the water supplied so the total water retained is 90 percentage of 650 when you solve that it will give you 585 cubic meter now the water retained in the soil can be obtained by weight w equals to gamma times the volume Okay, so your gamma W is the, can be written as the density of water into G into 585. Okay, so density of water is in kg per cubic meter is 1000 kg per cubic meter. Likewise in gram per centimeter is one gram per cc. Okay, so if you want to take the gamma of water you in kilonewton per cubic meter as 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. So friends, the fill capacity can be written as the ratio of weight of water retained in soil to the weight of same volume of dry soil. So if you substitute weight of water retained in soil as 585 into rho w into z divided by gamma d into z into 1.8 into 1000. So we have just substitute the values here. Here Z and Z is cut up. And if you solve this, we will obtain 0 0.2241 in the ratio. And if you convert it, it into percentage, field capacity will be 22.41 percentage. So friends, by the formula, we obtain the field capacity as 22.41 percentage. But it is given in the question that the field has already been weighted. The field is having certain moisture in it. So that moisture content is your 8%. So the entire field capacity of the soil is the field capacity that you obtained, that is 22.41% plus the existing moisture content, that is 8%. So if you sum up these two values, then you will obtain the total field capacity of the given field having this data as 30.41 percentage. So friends, if you find this video as useful, you can like and share to your friends. And for such videos, stay tuned to this channel. Thank you. We will meet soon in another video.